this is a general demonstration of the RCP from Skyhold. And um, just to give you a clue about how we are set up, we have a uh, Blackmagic Micro Studio camera sitting here. It's connected to an ATEM switcher. We have a Video Hub, Hyperdeck, and Smart View. So you can see the picture from the camera right here. And here we have the awesome RCP. So um, generally we have the uh, iris handle. And as you pull the iris handle, you can see up here on the monitor that we are adjusting the iris, obviously. And um, if I turn this wheel, you see that I'm adjusting master black. Uh, okay, you can see it up here that we are adjusting the black level of the picture. So that's the two main functions of an RCP that you have this handle to operate. Uh, and, and typically you would have multiple of these. So it's designed to take one camera at a time. So um, you can always read out the values here. You can uh, also see more detailed values up here on this display. And uh, right now we can um, color grade our picture. Um, these are the black levels, the gain is uh, the, the highlights. And uh, if I press here, this row changes to gamma, which is like the midtones. And that is managed by these rows of buttons. So you can see as I'm turning this knob, it corresponds to this tile on the display. As I turn this knob, this is the tile I'm adjusting. And you can see up here on the monitor how I'm... Um, I'm sorry, it's out of focus really, but okay. Yeah, um, as I'm turning the knob, I'm now adding more red or I can subtract red and uh, I could add more green and so forth. If you press the button, you'll see that I get into fine tune mode. Uh, there's a small mark here and then as I turn the knob, the value changes are smaller. So there is like coarse and fine uh, for all these knobs. And uh, then I go to this one where we have some uh, settings for the chip and the camera like sensor gain. So as I turn this value up, you can see the picture becomes brighter up here. Uh, like that. Uh, I can change the shutter speed. I can also change the white balance. Like this. Saturation, Q. Uh, currently contrast is not set up. And this is actually kind of duplicate because this is the iris value. So as I pull this knob, you can see that the iris value up here changes as well. But this is all configurable because we have an awesome web interface to do that. Um, there are, yeah, so um, we have other buttons too, like uh, we have this one through six, and they are currently not designated any particular function. We think of them as user buttons. So um, since we have this web interface, you can configure whatever you like. Like, um, it can be a camera selector. I think it's set up as a camera selector right now. So as I change here, uh, just come a bit closer, you can see. Um, as I press this one, you can see that values are changing up here because now I'm talking to camera two, camera three, and back to camera one, and we see the old values here. And that goes for any of these settings. So if, if this is what I'm looking at, then you can see this value change, um, or maybe here where we did some changes. Uh, so this is a camera selector, but one of the problems of having a camera selector on this unit is it's really not designed to work with multiple cameras because we have this analog component, the awesome fader. And uh, as you pull the iris handle um, and stick it into this position, then if you change your camera and now you're sending iris values to camera two, it will not pick up those values from where you left that camera. It will take the absolute position of this handle. And that's like an inherent limitation or feature, if you will, of an analog component like the fader bar. So um, the RCP is conceptually designed to work with the single camera at a time. Uh, we'll get back to the camera selector in a different video. Oh, we have these buttons down here. So inactive means that we basically disconnect our features on the uh, panel. So as I pull this handle, nothing happens. As I turn the knobs, nothing happens. So uh, if you press this button, you um, can avoid accidental changes to values. Uh, this is known for other RCPs. Uh, relative is not implemented yet, but it's something like you basically zoom in on a range for the joystick and auto iris is uh, for automatically setting the uh, iris. Preview is um, a button you can use 
to um, set uh, the picture on your preview monitor. And that will be covered in a different video too. But it can work with ATEM auxiliary channels, video hub, or a GPI trigger. Because on the back side of the unit, we have these um, connections. We have uh, a plug for external I.O. Uh, and now we are at it. We have the camera selector there. So you can also select camera from a dip switch. All right, I think that's the general demo, excluding features like the web interface, but we'll cover that in a different video.